Hey, what's up, Stock Compounders? Brad here. So today I want to talk about Office Depot stock. Do a little stock analysis on Office Depot. When I was doing my top 10 stocks that Robinhood investors have been buying the last week, just yesterday I put out that video, I saw Office Depot in the top 10. I was thinking, what is Office Depot doing? Why are people buying Office Depot stock? You know, there were how many? Over 13,000 Robinhood account owners who added Office Depot to their portfolios in the last week. So I thought, okay, I got to dig into this. What is going on with Office Depot? So, you know, the stock jumped almost 10 times in one day uh, from June 30th to July 1st. But it has nothing to do with the, you know, financial future or financial present of Office Depot. It's really a case of financial engineering, okay? Office Depot engaged in a reverse stock split uh, at the end of day, June 30th. So how that works is, you know, say they have 500,000, say 500 million shares outstanding. All of a sudden, they have 50 million shares outstanding. So every 10 stocks that people own of Office Depot gets converted into one stock, all right? It's really just financial engineering. So I got curious, why would Office Depot do something like that? My initial thought was, well, if they can make it look like the stock price is shooting up, you know, maybe traders, maybe people who are just using price as the indicator about whether or not a stock is worthy of buying, maybe those people will start to pile in and, and give the stock price a little bit of life. That was my first thought. Uh, but here, is, here are the reasons that management of Office Depot gave for doing this reverse split. A higher share price could encourage interest and trading in the stock by improving marketability and liquidity. Uh, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, the second reason, analysts and brokers sometimes have policies against recommending stocks with share prices below a certain level. So before the reverse stock split, Office Depot was trading in the low $2 per share. Uh, Okay, maybe some institutional investors have policies where, you know, if a stock price is below $5 a share or below $10 a share, they can't invest in it. Um, but again, this, this reason is a little fishy as well. Number three, higher trading volatility with lower price stocks makes some professionals recommend against buying shares. So what this is alluding to is stocks that have lo really low share prices which are sometimes referred to as penny stocks. Um, you know, they get a lot of interest from traders because, you know, because of the low stock price and typically the low market cap of companies who have these low stock prices, uh, big traders can really squeeze the price by buying a lot of shares at once, by, by spiking the volume. And... You know, for long-term investors, uh, they can worry about that high volatility with their holdings. Uh, you know, I don't worry about volatility, but people who see prices fluctuating a lot in a stock, sometimes it makes them nervous, uh, especially if they think that price changes actually do reflect uh, value changing of their portfolios. So that's kind of what this one is pointing to. Uh, the fourth reason a higher stock price could help attract and retain employees and other service providers. I don't know, guys. I, I, don't, I don't really buy uh, a lot of these reasons. I still think, you know, Office Depot has their backs against the wall right now as a business. Amazon has been eating away at their market share for, for years now. I mean... Who wants to go into a retail store to buy office supplies when, when you can just do it online? There's nothing exciting about shopping in a physical store for office supplies. 
So it's just the business is in a tight spot right now. And it seems like, you know, they can't figure out how to actually improve the business. So they're they're doing some financial engineering to try to do something, do something to make some gains on the stock price. And, um, you know, it's, it's not working. I'll show you guys. So this is the stock price. It, it's adjusted. See the the split happened between here and here. So, you know, this should say $2.35, but the prices have been adjusted for the reverse stock split. But you can see here uh, with the adjustment, you know, Office Depot over the last month is down 19%. Uh, who knows, maybe starting next week, um, this reverse stock split will, will start to, you know, have a positive effect. We, we won't know until, until that time comes. But as of the last month, I mean, 19% drop is, is substantial uh, in one month. And then I want to show you guys this chart. So this shows the trading volume. So you can see here, this is when the stock split happened. It actually happened at the end of this trading day. So kind of between the 30th and the 1st here. But you can see how much trading volume there was uh, on the day before the stock split. I mean, that that's insane. Now, my sense of this is, you know, this is sophisticated traders who, you know, they see this stock split coming and they think, okay, you know, maybe novice investors are going to see the price jump by 10x and pile in. So I think, you know, what, what, you know, these traders were taking a position in the stock because they thought maybe this financial engineering trick would start, you know, kind of a, a everyone flocking to this stock uh, as, as the price rises. So that's my sense. There was a bunch of traders who were taking a position the day before the stock split. Uh, but you can see here, you know, there's absolutely nothing exciting that happened in the days following the stock split. In fact, the, the price dropped. So, you know, that's good to see that, um, you know, there weren't a ton of people who were fooled by this reverse stock split situation. Uh, but clearly there were a number of Robinhood uh, account owners who who piled into the stock Uh from yesterday, I believe it was it was the tenth most popular stock in the last week. So, you know, Warren Buffett says price doesn't tell you anything about a stock. Okay, and and this is a beautiful example of how price manipulation. Okay, you know, it's not that hard for businesses or traders to manipulate the price of a stock in a big way, in this case, a 10x jump in one day. So if you're looking at price movements to try to decide whether, you know, a, a stock is a worthy investment, be very careful, guys, because it, it doesn't actually tell you uh, about anything in terms of the underlying business. How good of an investment is the business? A stock is really just a partial ownership of a business. And in order to understand the investment merits of a business, you really have to understand the business. And the best way to, to do that is to understand the management of the business, the financials of the business, the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement. You have to understand what's happening with the business. So, you know, for people who are just looking at price, you, know, you can get fooled by something like this, by a financial shenanigan, like a reverse stock split. So, you know, I, I think it's a beautiful example of why we need to be paying attention to much more than just the price of a stock. So that's all I wanted to share, guys, about Office Depot. Let me know if, if you were aware of this, if you've been following this story, or, you know, if this is just coming to your attention. Um, you know, in the age of, of Robinhood investors really piling into a stock as the price rises, we've seen this in a number of situations. 
like Hertz, like Nikola, um, potentially with, with SHLL, with the Hylion merger. Uh, it, it's becoming more and more common, it seems, with, with novice investors and traders that uh, you got this pile in uh, when it comes to stocks, even when there's nothing supporting that pile in, in terms of what's happening with the underlying business. So I just wanted to share this example. I thought it was fascinating. And uh, that's all I got, guys. Enjoy your 4th of July weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.